hi guys and welcome back to my channel and to this um, video and uh, if you're tuning in today I am doing your 2020 horoscopes this is going to be for the sign of Aries so Aries um, this year for 2020 what is in store for you my dear uh, this is a year where you're going to kind of play um, your cards right a lot of you are going to take chances and not really knowing that potential outcome but you're more going to be more of a risk taker this year i feel like a lot of you are not going to overanalyze things and you're just going to kind of just go with the flow and let the cards fall wherever they are wherever they may fall because i feel like at this point it's like you're no longer willing to subject yourself to stagnation or staying in the same bubble that some of you have been in and again this may not be applied to every single Aries out there that's tuning into this video but 2020 does present that that energy um, a lot of you also this year in 2020 are going to be more introverted which is you know very interesting and I say that because Aries is not typically known to be very introverted you do like to be social be the social butterfly to be out and about but I feel like this year brings some different energy for some of you again this may not apply to everyone that's an Aries sign out there listening to this but I see a lot of people this year going through some like introspection and wanting to find more comfort at home it could be that a lot of you are leaving the party life you know behind especially if you're young a younger viewership like in your 20s and you're still you know like going to clubs and whatnot but for those of you those of us that are in our 30s and older you know a lot of us may not um want to really play games with other people or, or just like go out and i'm not an aries but i'm just using myself as an example i feel like you know, there's a lot of y'all that a majority of y'all that are going to uh, enjoy more comfort at home and, and being more private instead of have, being around a lot of people. I also see a lot of you finding greater balance this year, which is a positive thing. It's a good thing if you're an Aries. I feel like there's a lot of good energy to come from all of this. Uh, a lot of you are going to find that you're finding more balance and you're gonna, some of you are going to be finding that there are people who want to pull you in different directions, but you're setting up boundaries and that's a good thing. And you're saying, no, look, I can only do this. I I can only do that and that's all I can do I can't do more or less for you and then I also see some things for 2024 some of you are going to go through some hardships there could be some things when you're listening to these horoscopes already you know for the end of the year that um, a lot of you may be going through your own personal drama with um, relationships uh, as you get into December 2019 but as we get into 2020 I feel like a lot of you could be finding that there's a realization that there is someone that is going to get hurt and if it's you that's involved in a third-party relationship with someone that is with someone else you know you may not be the victim because Aries are typically very strong and they're very much um, a power horse and so I feel like a lot of you are not going to be the ones that are hurt but there will be somebody else that will be heartbroken on either losing you or you find out the truth and you walk away from it and then some of you could be the heartbroken ones you know especially if you've invested a lot of time and energy into someone and they are you know cheating on you etc so there's a different culmination here I see a lot of you kind of entering some roadblocks when it comes to your career in 2020. A lot of you will be asking yourself, you know, should I go forward or should I stay in the same uh, thing that I'm doing? And I feel like a lot of you are going to go through some job changes as well. And I feel like a lot of you may be going through some darker periods in your work life in 2020 where you, you're kind of like, I'm tired of my boss. I'm tired of my coworkers. It's just a very, you know, not good situation and I am coming home and taking it out on my partner taking it out on my children or my family on some kind of level and it's not it's like you saying that you've had enough it's enough and you're you're just tired of it and you're not gonna have it anymore it's like over period poo okay so <laughs> that's the energy that I get I also feel like you are gonna have some themes this year where some of you Aries could be judged for what you do, standing or believing in your opinions and just the way you carry yourself with confidence. Some people are threatened by that, okay? Some people are threatened by your strength. And so you're just going to continue to to push forward from this. And the people that know you, that really do get you, are not going to feed into the lies or the accusations that are being thrown your way. They're going to know that it's not true. So don't fret. Don't worry about it. But 
a lot of you are going to be entering some new communication. Your love life is going to be pretty spicy if you've been single or if you uh, or have gone through a hard, uh, any time in 2020, if you go through like um, a breakup, you are going to eventually meet somebody else in 2020. That's the energy. Again, this may not apply to every Aries out there, but there, that's the energy of you coming in and um, rediscovering the, you know, the joy of life kind of liberating yourself and being a free soul like a gypsy would be. A lot of you are going to find that, you know, you are meeting your twin flame for the first time or making that connection with a soulmate. So there's a lot of good, good things that are going to happen in 2020. But, you know, it's kind of like it follows a pattern. You know, you're going to have your career to worry about. You're going to have your friendships to focus on. You're going to have your love life. And you're going to also have how you process all of it on an emotional level. How willing are you able to be uh, transparent and really just tackle things head on without ignoring or avoiding them until a later time. Because procrastination, honey, in 2020 for Aries is a no-go. That's not going to work for you. You need to push forward and really pull out of that procrastination state of mind. So this is the horoscope for the sign of Aries. I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you did like it, please uh, hit the subscribe button and also be sure to um, comment in the comment section below. So thank you once again and I hope that you have an amazing year Aries, okay? Blessings and love and light. Have a nice day. Bye.